we're oh so close to putting the finishing touches on News 25's 25 teams in 25 days, but Mother Nature is undefeated, so we're going to close things out with Resurrection Catholic tomorrow night. Instead, for the first time this fall, the WXXV Student Athlete of the Week returns with our very own Ansley Brent, who joins us in studio to introduce us to one local rising star. With the high school football season officially kicking off this week, it only makes sense that our first WXXV Student Athlete of the Week goes to a gridiron star, even if you've never heard his name until now. Ocean Springs specialist Bart Edmondson is a five-star punter and a four-and-a-half-star kicker, finally getting the recognition he deserves. Keeps me in the game of football. I like it. <laughs> Being a football junkie comes naturally to Bart Edmondson who's keeping it in the fam as an Ocean Springs specialist. My dad, which is also Bart Emerson, I'm a junior, he kicked at the University of Florida, 1992-96. And then I've always like, he's always like wanted me to kick and then I started it going into my eighth grade year. Generational skills passed down from father to son and Junior puts them to good use for the defending Region 4 Class 6A champs. You know, as far as high school football, when you have a kicker you can trust in, you know, that's uh, that's worth its weight in gold. And, you know, Bart, he's a great player. He's a good kicker. He's a punter. He can kind of do it all of it and get, get uh, kickoffs back into the into the end zone, which is a huge deal. But we always know that we can trust that the good things happen in the kicking game is back there. The family genes obviously run deep. But Bart isn't even the only Edmiston kicker on his own team. Younger brother Brooks is a sophomore for the Greyhounds, which certainly has its perks. Last year I was the only kicker on the roster, so I had to do everything by myself, be my own ball boy, go fetch all my balls. But now I have a little brother. He came up, he's in 10th grade. He's a kicker and punter also. But now I'm like, I make him do all my duties for me. I'll make him go fetch the balls. He's my ball boy now. Kind of mean, but it's brotherly love. But don't let the tough love fool you. Edmiston is a leader, both on and off the field, whether he realizes it or not. I knew, always knew I could long snap, but I never did it. I always played safety or corner. But then uh, this past year I took off for some classes and then uh, I came back and was working with Bart just a little bit with long snap and asked him if, uh, if he thinks I could do it. And he worked with me over the summer and uh, gave me the confidence I needed to try out. And ever since then I've been long snapping for him and uh, he's been helping me out and been an encouragement to him. So I appreciate him. As fate would have it, Edmiston and Jarrett Scott even share the same birthday adding to the close bond they already share, especially when it comes to practice. It's always a great feeling of scoring points. Hear the crowd cheering my name or just cheering after I make it, but at practice you always hear like kickers do nothing. It is true, I barely do nothing. That's probably like one of my favorite parts. I can just walk around, talk to everyone, drink water whenever I want. Perhaps too much water or whatever form of H2O he can get his hands on. Edmiston says the team managers are always on his case about stealing all the ice out of the coolers, hence his new nickname, Iceman. Iceman, because I got ice in my veins making my kicks, so I like to eat ice, put it in there, yeah. All joking aside, Edmiston is as clutch as they come, addicted to those big time moments and the adrenaline rush that comes with them. Why I always do this like, probably a baseball player when they hit a home run, it's just like you always want that feeling. When I hit a good punt or a good field goal, I just chase that again. From Ocean Springs, Ansley Brent, News 25 Sports. And the Greyhounds will continue to chase that feeling tomorrow as they officially begin their 2022 football season. They hit the road to take on the Clinton Arrows in a rematch of last year's double overtime thriller, which Ocean Springs won 45 to 44.